So we just got back from a three day family camping trip and uh, gotta say it's a pretty big deal. Pretty big deal, one watch, three days. I mean, probably spend more time thinking about what watch I'm gonna take than uh, packing my essentials. But uh, no, in reality, I knew exactly, no question, was I gonna take a Hamilton Khaki Titanium 42? No, no. And uh, that's kind of why I lean towards the budget watches because I'm too damn afraid to scratch them. I don't even like reaching for my seatbelt in my truck sometimes. I'm afraid I'm just gonna scrape the crystal or you know something's gonna happen. So most of the time I baby my watches and they're sitting in watch boxes. So I'm going camping, what did I want? Well, I chose the Bertucci A2T for these reasons. I wanted something light, okay? I wanted a screw down crown. I want it to be, uh, you know, have some water resistance for all the blood and the guts and the beer. Name that song. I wanted uh, some loom, good loom, accuracy, quartz. Um, and you know, it wouldn't hurt if it, uh, you know, looked nice. So that's why I chose this guy. So I don't know if you guys know anything about Bertucci. I'm taking off this Bertucci stand. Um, but they are an American company. Um, they were founded, I believe, in 2004, according to their website, with this model, the uh, A2T Original Classic. It's gone through several, um, minor changes over the years, and they just released a new one. It supposedly has an updated quartz movement or better battery. I don't know, but um, I got this a couple years ago, and the black one down there is one of my first ever watches rocking the four years old, same battery. We'll get into him in a minute, but what are we looking at? We got a close-up here. Man, this is just a pimp watch for $155 straight from their website. One more time. $155. What other watch? Let's get in the specs and you can tell me what other watch can compete with that. Okay, so we got a quartz. And if you guys can't stomach the quartz, then, you know, I, I get it. Just turn the channel. But I like quartz. I like to know that I can reach in my box anytime and grab one of these A2Ts and they're going to be spot on. I don't have to worry about winding, jacking with the date, day date. It's just going to be running. So I like quartz, especially camping. Um, loom, these have great loom, very legible, light. Guys, this is a full uh, titanium case with patent integrated lug bars. Look at this. So there are no spring bars in this watch, it is a fully integrated case, which makes it, in my opinion, extremely durable. So you do have to use a pass-through strap, okay? But that shouldn't be a big deal, guys. They come with these Zulus, but um, Bertucci themselves do have all kinds of other straps. They have some NATOs, they have leather. Um, we'll get into the straps in a minute, but uh, just know that. I think that's really cool. So it's a 40, it's 11 millimeters thin 49 and a half lug they call it a one size fits all and i don't think that's going to be an issue i'll put it on my seven and a quarter inch wrist soon but um screw down crown did i mention it was 155 dollars? i can't believe it screw down crown and i like the uh yep i like the red seconds hand on both of these so there's the black one now it is a mineral crystal, you know, at this price point, uh, of course, what else would you expect? But um, I do have, you can see, I do have a little gash there on the three o'clock in the black one. But this guy has been through years of hard, hard, man, I put my watches through a lot. And this one was in the pool for an entire summer, every Saturday and Sunday, Texas heat, five kids. I'm talking cannonballs, running this thing on the ground. You know, it was beat to hell. And I never even thought twice about the water resistance being an issue or anything. Still running, same battery. I just changed the uh, original strap because the chlorine got to it. Anyway, <clears throat> what else we want to know? These straps, guys. Oh, they're so awesome. I love Zulus, first of all. They're some of my favorite straps. These have a little um, signed 
buckle here, Bertucci. These are some of the best, if not the best, Zulus on the market. And when I'm reaching in my watch box and I'm just grabbing a bunch of Zulus, I know instantly that I have a Bertucci. These things are so durable. Um, I can't explain it. They're a little thicker than the normal Zulus. I was going to compare it to like a cheaper knockoff or or not a cheap knockoff, but um, you just can't compare. I mean, I think, I mean, I know they sell these all kinds of colors, patterns on their website. I think they're like 30 bucks. Well worth it. I bought four or so myself. Check them out. Um, so they do come with the Zulus, this model in particular, okay? Um, if you look on the website, there's all kinds of models now. They got Chronos, Pilot Watches. They have the DX3, which is basically this watch um, with a non-screw down crown and like a polycarbon body or plastic body. Got $55. 50 bucks so that's more in your wheelhouse you're just looking for like a little tool watch don't want to spend a lot but i don't know what else can compare other than like maybe a g-shock but if you're not looking at digital um man i don't know it's a pretty sweet watch so let me show you what it looks like on a seven and a quarter inch wrist man i'm gonna have a hard time taking it off because it's just too damn comfortable there you go like butter all right. Seriously, it's just melts so light, lightweight. It's exactly what I wanted. Lightweight. Perfect camping watch. I mean, I just I didn't even take it off all day, night, week, whatever. So I didn't know what else to take. You know, I was at a I was at a, a crossroads in my mind. So, do you guys own any Bertucci's? What else would you think is comparable? Um, you're going camping. What watch are you taking? I'd love to to uh, pick your brain on that. So, um, yeah, check them out. Let me know your thoughts. Appreciate you guys.